Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to bring you um, a couple of my junk journal kits. Um, I have still, I think, got two kits that I listed last week that are still in my shop. Um, you know, as I record this um, video, they, I think, are still in the shop and also I think there is a tag bag still available. Um, but I just kind of wanted to do this while I had a little bit of time today after work, um, just so that I'm kind of, you know, keeping up um you know with kind of things in my shop so i will um show you the first one so this particular kit um it's bound with this really striking black and white ribbon so that just ties around i love it when they kind of um open like a parcel or like a gift and what i've done here is i've used this little tiny bulldog clip to hold this fabric little pouch on so I move that to one side and then basically this opens out into a kind of three-way um, fold out. So obviously um, if you've watched my videos before and you're familiar, I won't kind of bore you too much, but the idea is that you can obviously use the actual packaging in your journal. So you could either cut this down, use it as a page, or you could cut elements off of it or, you know, have you wanted. So you've got here some doily that's been coffee dyed, you've got some vintage sheet music, some of these beautiful vintage stamps here and then some stamped images and then you've got some ribbon trim that I've stapled across and you've got lots of pretty paper flowers as well. You've got a little Tim Holtz rosette. Um, so all of those things can be used either in their entirety in a journal. We've got stamped images going on on the buff coloured card, you know, or you can obviously kind of use it as individual kind of elements. The back of this is plain. Um, but yes, the front is all kind of decorated. So stapled on to the very front, I have got here a fabric ruffle. And this is just from some kind of um, linen type fabric and I've stitched it on the sewing machine. And then I've used a couple of bulb pins where I have attached a pretty fabric flower. This has been made from some ribbon, which was actually really bright and colorful and then I have um, dyed it and used obviously the underside of it, which looks really pretty because then you just get the odd bit of kind of blue around the edges. And then I've layered it up with some lace and a little gem. That's on some felt. So that's just attached with a bulb pin, can easily be taken off. And obviously the fabric ruffle is just attached with a staple. So again, just needs to be unstapled and then it can be used, you know, on your pages. And then here with a bulb pin is one of my button embellishments. Um, again, you just take the bulb pin out and then you can use that. And then going into the paper items, I've got here a book page pocket um, with some scrapbook paper which has been stitched on. And then I've got here a little bit of um, vintage book page from one of the Reader's Digest books with this horse here and some lace trim there. So obviously it could just be glued onto pages. And then here I've got an altered paper clip just with some fabric and a little flower here. And that obviously just goes on to your pages like that. And then here I've got a little envelope which I have made um, from some coffee dyed scrapbook paper. And literally I just used um, an old envelope as a little template. And then I've stuck this on as a little kind of um, tab to close the envelope and again I won't be able to do this because now I'm on camera nothing ever works when you're on camera does it so that just tucks in like that um, and inside there I've just got some more of the scrapbook paper layered up onto this um, suspension file and it's got some elements so I mean you could obviously kind of paint over that or um, just journal on it as it is <clears throat> and that just goes in there like that and then that can go in there obviously it doesn't have to go in that book page pocket um i just did that really for the purposes of putting this kit together i thought it was kind of nice in there but i mean you know it doesn't have to go in there at all so that's your first few paper items then in the middle i have done another kind of pocket here and inside there you've got, again, this is an image from the Vintage Reader's Digest books of this beautiful, beautiful woman. And um, 
got some lace here it's been stitched on the sewing machine and some layered up other images and it's just on some scrapbook paper which I would use this just as a kind of belly band or a tuck spot so either gluing it at the top and the bottom using it as a belly band or kind of down or you know a pocket down kind of three sides however you wanted really so that's that item Oops, and then going here, we've got the final items here. So I've got a little kind of coin envelope that I have made here. I've just tied the twine round just for decoration. If that bolts your journals out too much, it just literally, you can just, you know, slide it off. I just thought it looked really nice like that. And then I've got here some coffee dyed cardstock as a little kind of tag that just slots inside that coin envelope um, with some fabric as a tab so that's that this obviously is my beautiful um, <laughs> that I just really really loved if you watched along with my tutorial um, this was one of my laminated pieces onto the blue um, scrapbook paper and it's got some vintage ephemera vintage stamps and then it's got some lace trim and the flower so really 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 love that and kind of a bit of a struggle to get rid of it but I need to be strong so that's that and then here I've got a little booklet which I've just literally used some coffee dyed paper and it's coffee dyed scrapbook paper decoupage napkin a stamped image here and then some coffee dyed pages inside that I've stapled in so that's those items I just tuck back in here which actually I did then remember that I'd actually done that as a little tuck spot so I should tuck those in like that and then you've got a little fabric pouch which I thought looked quite pretty against the colours of the packaging um, and then take the border clip off and see what's in the pouch we have got the following items let me check I've got them all out so I've got here another little book page pocket um, this one here is a teeny envelope which I have layered up um, some scrapbook paper, some vintage book page and a bit of vintage book page here and it's been glued and then stitched on the sewing machine and that just obviously can be glued onto a page and it just makes a little teeny pocket like that. Then I've got a little acetate piece, um, I love using these beautiful beautiful ladies. Um, so there's that one then I've got these little fabric items here which are just stamped images onto fabric which has been glue uh, stitched onto hessian which I've mod podged around to stop it kind of fraying so much really um, so that's those and then here I've got a little kind of flip kind of booklet which this is just from some envelope book page it's got this beautiful stamped image do all things with love it's got some butterflies stamped and then some lace trim and then obviously inside it's just got some coffee dyed pages in there so those items all obviously just go back into the little pouch and then they just clip all onto the um, you know packaging itself so that's kit number one Oops. I won't tie this up um, because I'm all fingers and thumbs today and probably won't be able to on film so I should pop that to one side and show you the next kit so the second kit that I've got available um, very similar in that it's got the little bulldog clip holding on the fabric pouch um, I mean the kit itself is very different, they're always, you know, different. Um, so going inside the fabric pouch first, and this is made from some actual vintage fabric and it's got some of this vintage crocheted lace and it's just been stitched around on the sewing machine. And going inside there I've got a couple of chipboard tiles which have been glossy accented there. Then I've got a couple of stamped images that I like using um, with a little frame, this little gorgeous circle um, which you know I think they're kind of cute for tags, uh, tabs on tags 
And then here the dictionary def definition of the word wonderful. Then I've got a couple of my little fabric items which have been stamped um, images onto fabric and then glued, uh, <laughs> stitched around onto the hessian and it's been mod podged like that. And then you've just got a Tim Holtz rosette which has just been inked up. Um, so that's your small items for kit number two. And then the packaging of kit number two, um, it's this gorgeous decoupage napkin image of the Eiffel Tower and that's been um, decoupaged onto this sheet music which has been stitched on the sewing machine onto this vintage book page. It's all been glued onto this gorgeous buff coloured um, greetings card and then it's got some lace trim down the side. I've made a little kind of bow here that's just been glued on and then I've got always and forever kind of stuck there. And on the back I've just got some doily and here together is a beautiful place to be. And then again here I've just got fabric ruffle which has been stitched on the sewing machine and I've just stapled it onto the packaging top and bottom like that. So if you just undo the staples obviously you can just use that in your projects and it can be cut down and things. And then held on with bulb pins I have got here two little velvet yo-yo flowers with little pearl centres. And then here I've got one of my little button fabric embellishments and then going inside the kit here so inside I have formed oh why does nothing work when you're on camera oh and I don't think I glued this while I was kind of um you know um putting this kit together I had glued it previously so I'm not quite sure why that's kind of wedged oh Yes, I am. I've obviously stapled that in. So I'm just going to undo the staple. Um, I obviously stapled the ruffle onto the pocket. <laughs> so let me move that staple. Right, <laughs> now this will come out. That's better. So here I've got some vintage book page which has been layered up. So I've got a pocket here and a pocket here. I've got some lace trim and then a dictionary definition of the word love here. So again, you could use this in your journals, you could use it as it is, or you could cut them out and use them as kind of pages. Um, and then your paper items here. I've got two, um, hang on, two little envelope pockets, which are just the long envelopes that have been folded over and forming the pockets, and they've been layered up with the scrapbook paper They've got some lace trim, this one's got some diamante, it's got the word discover, this has got a little flower, this one's got a different flower. And this one's got, um, this is some um, vintage ephemera that I have um, been playing around with, decoupage and napkin, and attempting to make some printables. I haven't, um, you know, uploaded them or anything, um, but that's what that is, so I thought that went nicely in there. And then here you've just got a book page pocket, which I did have this one in, which is just a little kind of fold out booklet, which you could obviously add some more pages in. Um, it's just been coffee dyed. And this is a vintage image from um, a vintage book. Again, not hugely vintage, but about 1980 something um, that I've just inked up and kind of popped in there and I thought it went really nicely because obviously it's the same scrapbook paper and it's got this same flower. And actually I was also holding that on with this altered paper clip, which again is all in coordinating scrapbook paper and just clips on there like that. And then here I've got a corner tuck spot again from the same scrapbook paper range and I've stapled on some um, sewing pattern ruffle. It's got a vintage stamp, another vintage stamp and then a typewriter. And I would just glue that on to a scrapbook page. So that's that one. I've got here a cluster. So this is my attempt at some of the clusters that um, were um, Jessica Rapp makes and also that Laura sent in the Happy Mail. So this was really kind of inspired by Laura's clusters, especially because obviously, um, you know, I kind of had several of hers that I was kind of copying and um, working on. I have used glue as well, where Jessica I know only uses one staple, and I think I did mention she uh, we did a swap, and um, she very kindly sent me a couple of her clusters, 
awesome awesome things um really awesome clusters she literally does only use one staple <laughs> i'm not at that stage yet i have to kind of add glue as well but that's one of those which i just thought went nicely with the colors here i've got um what i would use as a kind of pocket i would glue down three sides and pop it on a page and just kind of tuck things in like that it's got some vintage stamps it's got some decoupage napkin with the birds and this postmark um, stamped image, it's got some lace trim and some vintage book page layered up there. And then here I've got a little kind of banner, which again I stapled on some sewing pattern and just layered up. Um, this is a Kayser Craft, I think, die cut with some stamped images. And again, I would just glue that along the top and use it as a little tuck spot. And then here the final item, I've got here a little coin envelope that I've made and I've just got some lace trim at the top and one of those beautiful acetate images. So this was some printing onto acetate and I've just fussy cut it out and then got some vintage stamps and a little flower there. And um, yeah, so that's just a coin envelope, which you could obviously pop things in and into your journals. You could hold it into your journals with um, you know, a paper clip, oops, just paper clip it onto a page, you know, or indeed you could obviously stick it, oh, what is it, when you film, you just cannot do things, or you could obviously glue it onto a page, um, you know, as a fixed kind of coin pocket, really, or a kind of tuck spot, you could just do it on a couple of sides and then you'd have kind of multiple pockets, really. Um, so that's all the items in kit number two. So again, I will aim to have those listed in my shop to coincide with the kind of video um, being uploaded. So I um, hope you like them. Give them a thumbs up if you did. And thanks very much for watching. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.